In this video, we're going to be talking about laser hair removal for bikini, so stay tuned. My name is Caroline Hooper. I'm a certified laser specialist, and I'm here to help you as a client to make a fully informed decision on whether laser hair removal is the right choice for you. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you should consider subscribing as we are here to educate you every day with a new video upload on the aesthetic industry or any questions that you might have, uh, we're more than likely gonna cover them for you. So laser hair removal for bikini area, it's such a common area that everybody wants to not have the inconvenience of having to shave or wax, right? So of course, before going and having laser hair removal done in your bikini, on your bikini area, you're gonna to want to know a little bit about it first and know if it's safe, if a lot of people get this done, what it's like to get it done. Um, you might be embarrassed, most people are embarrassed because it's a private area to have. So I'm here today to help you see exactly what it's like to have laser done on the bikini area and um, who gets it done. So if you're considering having laser hair removal for the bikini area, I can assure you that it's very safe to do. We've got four different types of bikini when it comes to <coughs> shaving, waxing or having laser. So it's no different when it comes to laser as it is when waxing. The four different types of uh, bikinis that we treat would be a basic bikini, an extended bikini, a Brazilian or a Hollywood. So I'll explain to you the difference in each, okay? A basic bikini is where we're treating one inch outside of the bikini line. So to explain to you where the bikini line is, it's basically the crease of the leg. So when you choose a basic bikini for laser, you're literally going to just treat that inch from the top of the bikini down to basically where it meets the bone at the middle of your leg. And that's what you'll cover for a basic bikini. Very, very safe to treat. Basically all we're doing is treating your upper leg. It's not a very popular area to treat because it doesn't generally cover you for any type of um, bikini or underwear that you're gonna be wearing. So not a lot of people would choose a basic bikini. An extended bikini would be the next type of bikini and that's doing basically what you'll have with the basic bikini, plus it's going to extend in about two inches either side and two inches on the top also. So. This type of a bikini is what's gonna cover you for any type of uh, beachwear that you might decide to wear. So you're not gonna to have to worry later on. And this type of bikini would be more popular, but again, not the most popular for all ages. The next bikini would be a Brazilian. And a Brazilian bikini, how I explain that to my clients, the easiest way to explain it is, what you want gone, shave. What you don't want gone, don't shave and you tailor it to what you want. Front and back include the lips, don't include the lips. It's a very, very popular area to have treated and it's um, very safe to treat. Um, going on to the fourth bikini then would be a Hollywood and a Hollywood is everything front and back. So that means you're gonna shave the entire area and uh, remove all the hair. So between a Brazilian and a Hollywood, there's not all that much of a difference depending on the person. We leave that decision in your hands. Uh, some people leave a landing strip, some people will need, leave close to an extended bikini on the top, but they'll want the lips gone. Some people will not do the lips and will want all the top gone. So you basically tailor a Brazilian to what you want. And that's perfectly fine. What we do ask in this case, because, you, because there's so many variations of a Brazilian and people want different styles, we ask you to have it shaved to what you want for every treatment the exact same way uh, so that you're not going to have any unevenness on the treatment. The only area that we can treat on a bikini is basically anywhere that the skin is shiny. So the only place that you're going to get shiny skin on a bikini is if you go inside the lips, which a lot of people can ask in some cases to have done. Now not everybody gets hair here, but some people do and they don't want to be left with this hair. But unfortunately, if the skin is shiny, you can't have laser on it. And if anybody's offering to do laser on the shiny skin, you shouldn't let them. 
because that's where you can come into a complication and the skin can get burned and blister and it's definitely not an area where you want to be um, minding a blister in any way because infection and everything can come with that. So shiny skin is the only part of the Hollywood that we wouldn't be able to treat but we can of course bring it right to the edge. We can get you or we can stretch the skin so that we can ensure that we are getting right close to the edge. So a lot of the hair that's gonna be visible normally is going to be treated and we're going to be removing that. Bikinis are a very difficult area to shave, especially if you're choosing to have a Brazilian or a Hollywood. So what I would usually recommend clients to do, whether you come to me or you're going to somewhere else, you probably get advice all different ways, but in all of my experience in having to treat bikinis and seeing clients coming in not fully prepared for treatments, it just causes you hassle at the end of the day because you're not going to have a successful treatment. The area is probably going to be avoided where you haven't shaved correctly. So my advice to you from the words go is if you're not used to shaving, you might be somebody who has waxed before in the past and you're not used to shaving um, to start with. Never mind have a perfect shave for a laser treatment. So what I would usually advise there is for a laser, you have to shave the hair the night before in order for it to be ready for treatment. But you're only learning how to shave the area. So the best way to learn or to ensure that you have the area shaved correctly is do it a week before your treatment. Go over the area three days before your treatment and then do a final shave on that area the night before your treatment. That's if you've not been shaving the area before. If you have been shaving the area before, I still recommend shaving it three days before your laser treatment and then going over it the night before because that just means you're going to ensure that all the hair is gone from the area. There's no excuses for any of the area not to be treated on the day of the treatment and you're not going to waste your time or your money or you're not going to cause any damage to your skin because understand that when you're having laser done the only reason why you have to shave is so that we're not absorbing any of the heat on the surface or on the outside of the skin because that can cause a burn to your skin so it's very important that you're considering your own safety and don't leave that in anybody's hands to determine on the day if they're going to or if they're not going to treat over any length on your hair because you can have a reaction to the laser if the hair is treated over. So for your own safety you need to make sure that the area is clean shaved and the best way of doing that is do it three days before and do it the night before because let's face it it's not an easy area to shave. We do get a lot of questions around this topic so it is a video that we are looking into doing so as I said, make sure to subscribe to the channel because if you would like to see the bikini area being treated before going and having a treatment, it's not something that's usually offered on the internet. It is something we're looking into doing. Um, keep an eye out because we might have one coming up soon. So I have a question for you guys. Have you ever had laser hair removal on your bikini? If so, leave in the comments what bikini laser you had. And maybe if you have any tips for anybody watching, uh, leave them in the comments also. So did you get value from this video about laser hair removal for bikini? Well, I hope you did. And if you feel this video could help any of your friends or family, maybe you can share it with them also. If you like this video, make sure to like below and subscribe for more. And if you want to be notified on any videos coming up, you can hit the bell just above here. Thanks for watching and see you next time.